Karen and I get a lot of questions about nitrogen stabilizers. You know, here's the thing. Let me just first give you my quick summary on nitrogen stabilizers. We're really big believers in these products because even if you look at all the factors, and we'll talk about those in just a second here, but even if you look at all the factors of, hey, I can save money and I can get more efficient nitrogen usage, all that's nice. But one of the things that we look at and I don't think gets talked about enough is the environmental thing. So for example, this spring you may have heard about in Des Moines, they're having this big issue with nitrate in the water and they're concerned that farmers are polluting the water. Well, farmers really aren't polluting the water. I mean, what we're finding is the levels are actually not too bad in the water but nevertheless as farmers we don't want to lose any of our nitrogen we want to keep it in the field and so what nitrogen stabilizers do for the most part is help keep nitrogen in the ammonium form and ammonium is positively charged locks onto soil well doesn't leach like nitrate does so if we can do that it's a great thing for the environment I want to go back to one of your first comments Brian and that was we're big believers in nitrogen stabilizers Here's why. We've seen the research and we've done the research on our farm. We want to see these things on our farm. Try them out and see for ourselves. Take the data out, uh, see what kind of yield differences we have. Look at how much nitrate is, is going down through our soil. Are we losing some nitrogen when we're not using these products? How much are they protecting us? And what we've seen is that we're able to hold more nitrogen in our fields and that's going to result in higher yields and a lower fertility bill for us. We don't have to put on extra nitrogen to account for any that we may have lost. Now, as soon as Darren says we can hold more nitrogen, I don't want you thinking that, hey, I've got a four CEC that can only hold about 40 pounds of nitrogen. I can just go ahead and put 200 pounds on with a nitrogen stabilizer and I should be good. No, 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 okay, if these products are nice tools, they're going to help you some, but it's not magically going to turn your soil into this enormous nitrogen holding capacity machine, okay? So if I had a four CEC, I'd still split apply. I would still put a little on early, and a little more later, and a little more after that, all right? But using the nitrogen stabilizers at least helps keep that nitrogen in the ammonium form. You get a better chance to reduce the amount of leaching. Now in really heavy soils, we have another problem. It's called denitrification, where it holds so much that it actually holds too much water in a lot of cases. So if we have poor drained, really heavy soils, then we get this denitrification issue. Well, here again, if we can keep that nitrogen in the ammonium form longer, then it's just a better chance for us to have that nitrogen used by our crop instead of going up in the air. You know, with nitrogen stabilizers, they're grouped into one category. Hey, these are nitrogen stabilizers, but there are actually different products in there with completely different methods of helping protect your nitrogen. For example, you use a product like Nutrisphere N, you're using polymers, where when you're using a product like Agritain, for example, you may be using a product that's going to control bacteria in the soil that are going to convert that nitrogen. So there's different ways of these products working, and we're going to see more products coming out in the next few years as well that may even have other methods. That's fine. I don't mind that there's different ways they're going to work. I look at it much the same way as controlling weeds in our fields. Well, we don't use the same mode of action every year. Maybe rotating is a good thing. That's something that I've yet to see any studies on, but it seems to make common sense that you'd use some different methods over time to spread out your risks a little bit. One of the most important things you need to do though is know what your stabilizer will do. Some, for example, only protect against volatilization loss. Okay, so that's not going to do you any good for leaching or denitrification. We have some products like NSERV, for example, that only works on anhydrous, and then others will work on liquid fertilizer. We also have some products available in the market today that are good for manure, putting it with your manure. And a lot of people think of manure as a waste product. Well, it's a tremendous fertilizer fertilizer. So we want to keep that in the field rather than going up in the air or down into our water. Well, once again, we are big believers in nitrogen stabilizers. They're not going to pay for you in all cases, but in a lot of situations they do pay. But again, I come back to for the environment. We as farmers have to do everything we can to protect the environment from any nitrate loss. And that's where the nitrogen stabilizers can pay big benefits that don't necessarily show up in your checkbook. Well, one big benefit that you can have is controlling our weed of the week. So if you let this thing go, it's going to destroy your next crop. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up later in the show.